Hey, how we doing folks? Uh, Mr. Volpe here with you guys for our second half course uh, for English 1101 Composition and Rhetoric. Um, coming to you live from my day job. I'm a middle school teacher uh, in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, I used to teach at GNTC uh, as an adjunct instructor uh, at the Whitfield Murray campus in Dalton until I moved to Florida in 2016. And I've been working with uh, GNTC as an online instructor ever since and uh, happy to have you all aboard this term. All right, so I'm going to try to keep this video very short. Videos uh, will come out every other week along with an announcement. The video will be embedded in the announcement and I'll do it every other week. So week one will have one, week three, week five, seven, and nine. Um, so for this week, it is three things that you want to do. Number one, you want to make sure that you apply uh, a thought to the discussion forum. Uh, I provided a link to the reading material. It is a resignation letter that a former writer of the New York Times sent to her boss, the chief editor of the New York Times, uh, explaining why she no longer felt that the New York Times was the place for her to work because they were stifling uh, other ideas and you know the New York Times in her opinion became very biased and one-sided so it is uh, it is her stating her case why she felt that she had to leave the New York Times I am asking you to read that article identify her main point her thesis statement state whether you think she says it outright explicitly or if she suggests what her thesis statement is uh, and give some supporting details uh, as to why she feels what she feels and say whether you agree with her sentiments or not. Just follow the directions on the assignment link and while I have you here I'm going to go ahead and take a look at that right now. This is the no-show assignment. This is going to be due by Sunday the 13th. Sunday the 13th. So the beginning of each week is going to be on a Wednesday because our semester is beginning on a Wednesday. Uh, so discussion forums, journals, and blogs are going to be due uh, before the week, the full five-day stretch ends, okay? So in this case, we have a uh, discussion forum. It'll be due Sunday the 13th, okay? And how to access this, you go in the course and you will see uh, Shell 1, Weeks 1 through 2 in our Lessons tab, okay? So Shell 1, Weeks 1 through 2, click it. Week 1, click that folder. You'll see the no-show assignment. Click it and press Create Thread in order to post. Now you have to post and then you have to post to someone else in the class's original post to get full credit. Okay, so make sure you do that by Sunday the 13th. Two other things to do. One is in our reader. So there are two course textbooks. They're all online free, okay? If you look on the left-hand side of your menu when you log into Blackboard, you'll see the 1101 reader, and you'll also see the textbook. The textbook is our successful college composition textbook. Uh, which you could find that information on the syllabus as to the textbook, the title, what it pertains to and all that, which reminds me you should look over your syllabus over the next few days as well. Uh, the netiquette, the ground rules, uh, and the paper format. Uh, so get acquainted with all that introductory stuff in our uh, lessons tab. The textbook, SCC we're going to call it, Successful College Composition. Your first assignment is to go to chapter three, modes of discourse, to our first mode of discourse, narration. We are gonna be writing a narrative essay next week. It's a good idea to think about a particularly life-changing moment in your life, because uh, you are gonna base an essay based on that topic. Um, but for now, go to exercises two and three in chapter three, part one. So chapter 3.1, which is titled narration. You could do exercise one on your own. I just want the information that you have for exercises two and three, okay? Uh, this exercise, or these exercises two and three, are gonna be due Tuesday the 15th by 11.59 p.m. Then finally, the other thing we have is our reader. So if you go in the 1101 reader, which is on the left-hand side of your screen, you will see our, uh, 
our options here for your different uh, modes of discourse. You will type narrative or click narrative, I should say, in the upper menu there, okay? And then select uh, or search for the two readings, George Orwell, Shooting an Elephant, uh, and uh, Bonnie Smith Yackles, My Mother Never Worked. Those are the two readings uh, that you have to do or look at. And then I provide you with discussion questions attached in uh, the submission link, okay? So you submit your answers to the discussion questions for the reader. You submit your uh, answers to the exercises two and three for the SCC exercises and the discussion forum, okay? So three things to do. Discussion forum due on Sunday or by Sunday, the 13th. And then by Tuesday, the 15th, the reader assignments, the two things you have to read, the discussion questions that go with them, and then the uh, two exercises on narration, okay? Those are due on the 15th, by the 15th, Tuesday of next week. Uh, by next Wednesday, the beginning of next week, the 16th, that is when we're going to start uh, writing our essay, okay? Um, so it's a good idea to look at, in SCC, the student example, okay? So let's just go there right now. And the student example is uh, going to be in every mode of discourse, okay? So you can kind of see how uh, an essay of the variety we're looking that, at that particular week uh, is to be written, uh, the style, how it's supposed to look, the format. So if you look at 3.1 narration and you scroll toward the bottom, read that narrative essay. Okay, uh, essays in our class are going to be two to three pages, except for the research paper, which is going to be uh, about four to five pages. Okay, so you could look at this uh, student. Uh, the student's is Alan Abramian. Okay, uh, a mock pretend student. Okay, but you could look at how he goes about uh, his essay there. Okay, providing vivid details. Uh, showing us his journey in this particular significant moment, okay? Um, storytelling is all about showing rather than telling, okay? Rather than saying, for example, I walk down the street. That's just telling you. Uh, the wind blowing through my hair, my feet uh, clapping happily on the sidewalk. I walk down the street whistling a tune. Okay, see how that second example has a lot more information. It makes a picture form in my mind uh, about, you know, my attitude, my mood uh, as I walk down the street. So it gives me more insight into that particular uh, moment. Okay. Uh, so that is something that we're going to focus on the second week of class, writing our narrative essay. You could see all the narrative uh, essays, the descriptive essay, the argumentative essay, the MLA research essay. You could see the point total or the percentage total, I could say, in your uh, syllabus and our class homework assignments. You could see how much those things are worth, too, in our syllabus. Okay, so I'm going to cut it short there. Three things to do this week again. By Sunday, the discussion forum. Read the article, follow the directions, make your post post to somebody else's post, okay? That's by the 13th Sunday. Then by Tuesday the 15th, two things. Number one, SCC exercises two and three for 3.1 in the narration unit. Again, that's the textbook. SCC is the textbook, okay? And then in our reader, the two reading selections, George Orwell, Shooting an Elephant, and Bonnie Smith, Yackles, My Mother Never Worked. You read those two things, and you answer the discussion questions attached. Okay. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to me. I'm pretty good about getting back to my emails pretty promptly. Just make sure that uh, you conduct yourself uh, professionally when you reach out to me. Uh, don't just like tell me to do something or like, you know, hey, do, where's this thing? Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Start with a greeting. All right. Be professional and adult and mature, okay? I will do you that same courtesy, okay, uh, when you are writing an email. But feel free to email me, mvolpe at gntc.edu, if you ever have any questions. Uh, all right, that'll stop me there. Peace, and I will talk to you again with another video in a couple weeks. Announcements, though, will be at the beginning of each week. Videos, again, every other week. All right, that wraps it up. Talk to you next time.